I'm Crypto Giga Chad. Welcome to Crypto Giga Chad's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content today and definitely leave a comment below. We'd love to talk through any questions you have with today's video or if you just have any comments uh, you'd like to make or tell me how much you like the video or where you're gonna invest if you're planning on investing in the next you know, one through to 10 years. Why we're here today is you're interested in Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and what's going on in the world right now. So let's dive into that. I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, but I'm only gonna tell you my opinion and what I've been doing in the last three years and what I'm investing in right now and why it's important. So I think what a lot of questions, a lot of people have been asking me to, to, to do videos or, or to speak about this, about what Bitcoin is and why you need to invest in it. Now, Bitcoin is the first iteration of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, which are sort of one and the same thing. With blockchain technology, I think it is absolutely the, gonna be the biggest disrup disruptor of our lifetime in most industries. You're gonna see it everywhere and it's super important. It's the most secure way uh, to manage technology, but we can get to that in a later video. The first point that we'd like to make, or the first point that we'd like to address is Bitcoin. So everyone's heard about it. You see it on buses these days or bus stops. You see people talking about it on the news. You see it all over Twitter, social media. You need to know a little bit more about it. People have spoken to you about it before. I think everybody has a general base knowledge that it is a cryptocurrency. You can buy it online and it's a code based system. You're absolutely correct. So originally the origin is quite important. I'm not going to go into all of that, but Sushi Nakatomi Plaza was the original founder of Bitcoin. Uh, and he started Bitcoin as a result of his friend, John McLean losing his house in the GFC. So he decided that it would be a really good idea for him to start a new way of transacting or sending transactions, which at its core is really all Bitcoin is. However, it is a much better, more efficient way of sending money anywhere around the world or just from one point to another. That's at a core what it is. You've heard of Bitcoin mining before and all the computing power that's associated with that. All that is, is a group of people verifying a transaction. So if you will, blockchain technology or Bitcoin when you have a series of transactions, it forms a block, a permanent block that's ratified and set in stone forever in permanency. So it's very secure. You know, those transactions have always happened. They're always there. You, you can go back at any time and have a look at the original transaction or the first transaction that was ever made with Bitcoin. And these blocks are, are tied together. So they're extremely secure. The miners verify transactions. It's a group of people that say, yep, that, looks, that transaction looks good and it forms part of a block within the blockchain. That's all Bitcoin is. Bitcoin actually isn't today in today's day and age. That it's not that efficient and it's used for transactions. Why? Because there's better cryptocurrencies out there for that. So we've, we've gone ahead in technology and we've moved on and we can go into Ethereum, we can go into Cardano, we can go into VeChain, we can go into a million different other things like Ripple and all the other cryptocurrencies you may or may not have heard about, which are much better uh, at sending money from one point to another. Granted, Bitcoin has its own advantages. However, what it's most useful for in today's day and age is a hedge against inflation, a store of value. You've got a, a cryptocurrency and you've heard of inflation before. It's it's flavor of the month. We've got central banks, you know, printing money like crazy in every single region of the world and over inflating, putting more money in circulation. What does that mean to you? It means the value of your dollar, the dollars in your bank account, irrespective of where you are, goes down. Why is that really important to you? Well, go outside if you want to house, if you want real estate, if you want to buy anything of value, it's going up like crazy and you would have seen it already. House prices in, in areas like Sydney, in areas, any capital area of the world is going to the moon and it's becoming more and more unaffordable, especially if you're not getting paid more and you've just got money sitting in the bank, losing on average two to 5%. What if I told you it was closer to 20, 20%? 20% you're losing per annum if you're not investing that money and sitting in the bank account, losing purchasing power, you're getting further and further away from that house, which is super important in the context of Bitcoin. That's why it is a store of value. You can buy a deflationary currency. What does that mean? Or a deflationary asset or commodity. Now, fancy words, who cares about that? All you need to know is Bitcoin is a store of value and it's deflationary. There's a limited amount of Bitcoin ever, that's ever gonna be in circulation, around about 21 million. Now, a lot of those are already snapped up by hedge funds, by smart money, which is basically huge investors that have already had a look at this and have bought and snapped up Bitcoin. You would have heard about Tesla, Square, some Fortune 500 companies have snapped it up. Massive investment banks, billionaires are buying this. You have a look at where they're, they're, they're putting their money. It's really, really important. And you, you'd be silly not to have some kind of exposure to Bitcoin in your investment portfolio or in your investments in general, just to hedge against inflation, just in case it becomes 
what I think it will become in the next 10, 20 years, which is gonna be, I know this is crazy or people are gonna call me, you know, I'm gonna be wearing a tinfoil hat in a second, but I think Bitcoin actually has a chance in the next 10 years to get to over a million US dollars per coin. So you're telling me you don't wanna invest in that? Are you absolutely crazy? Look at where it's going, look at, look at its history. I think it's important, you can have a look right up here. Uh, it's the best asset to invest in, in the last 10 years. If you, if you picked all the best stocks in the NASDAQ, 10 years straight, you would still would have been blown out of the water if you invested the same amount of money in Bitcoin. You would have gotten smashed by the Bitcoin investor. It goes up 200% per year. You double it every year, or more than double it every single year. Even the years that it went down, you would have still smoked everyone by investing in Bitcoin. It really is the best in asset that you can invest in historically. It's past that 10 year technology life cycle, which is super important. Um, and also there's a couple of other cryptocurrencies that have as well. So you need to stick with me on this. I've got plenty more videos coming out. The next one's gonna be on how to use the exchanges and the simple exchanges, the beginner, intermediate, and advanced exchanges to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies because there's a million other ones out there that have a lot of advantages that Bitcoin doesn't. But I think you would be mad to not look into this and I'm gonna help guide you throughout uh, with a simple sort of mindset on exactly what this is and how to do it. Because I think it's really, really important that everybody gets exposure to this and it's not just your investment bankers, hedge fund managers, and people that have just made a fortune already that are putting all their money and profits that they've made throughout the years off you and I straight back into Bitcoin and they start tripling it every year or double or tripling it every year. Meanwhile, we are all suffering and house prices keep getting more and more un unaffordable and everybody winds up renting. So I think it's really important in the grand scheme of things for you to stick with Crypto Chad. He's gonna help you out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making more videos. I'm gonna start helping you out day to day. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. All right, thank you very much. Let's get to it.